So I just discovered that my last video didn't upload properly onto YouTube, uh, so I'll just reshoot this very quickly. So we've got the MPPT 150 up there as our main solar in now. We did have the 115, but that's now for external solar only. Uh, it maxed out at about 200 watts most days. Uh, so that's allowed us to go to 298 watts or about 25 amps um, with the solar array that we've got. Um, I don't think the batteries would want more than 25 amps anyway. Um, and I don't run AC loads early in the day. I'll let the batteries recover first. So um, I don't know if we could produce more than that or that's all the batteries wanted. Um, we've got the inverter there. We've done a little bit of cable management but I still don't like this. Um, and I've got the Orion DC-DC down there. Again, I wanna put some ferrules in that. I wanna swap it and the inverter around, um, but I need some more of this 50 amp cable. Um, and I don't really wanna do that when I'm just about to buy a new inverter. Um, so I'm just living with that the way it is. Um, the shunt's doing its job well. The distribution box I'm very happy with. Got a couple of um, USB outs on there and a couple on there. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with what I'm doing. I haven't got below, I think my deepest discharge has been 100 amp hours um, and I've got 360. So I'm, I'm not even 20% into what I could take out of the system. And that's with running Starlink, which at times pulls nearly 10 amps and this thing which pulls 10 or 12 amps um, and not really holding back on charging devices. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. Thinking about putting the um, distributor, changing it from that way to that way with the cords going up. Um, but yeah, the only way to know is when I finally got the new inverter so I can put everything there in one spot. Um, after watching a video today of Mispronounced Adventures, he's running the 1600 VA um, inverter, which is about 1300 watts from Victron, and it's running an induction cooktop. Um, that was my goal, to get to induction cooking, um, because I don't really want to add gas to this mix. Uh, yes, I want to have butane in here for, for when it suits me, but I, I really want to try induction cooking. And I don't want to do that on that inverter. It's just, it's fine for what it is, but it is cheap. I got what I paid for. Um, yeah, so we're just about to pop into float. We're in absorption. We've got a tail current that's just above what we need. So we, we've done everything we need to do today. The next thing I want to do is add the extra solar panel. Um, I left a space there where Dishy is at the moment is a spot for another 160 watt solar panel so I'm going to add that in and the other thing I need to add in is the external port for that. I had thought of doing these style ports um, but I don't think they're weatherproof because if I put it there and not happy I think I'll do another gland there and then just have it mounted on the headboard here somewhere um, and that's the only way it'll be really weatherproof I think. Okay, so that's where I'm up to. Um, that's my latest update. Leave any comments in the uh, comments below. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that.